A group of mothers makes costumes for a children's theater. They are making collars for each costume. Each of the collars requires part of a yard of fabric. The shaded part below shows the fraction of a yard needed for one collar. How many yards of fabric will they need to make seven collars? As you can see, first of all, if you're wondering what's a collar, right, I get you. Think about a costume. They've got this collar. Maybe it's exquisite. I don't know. And they need to make seven of these, okay? And the amount of fabric it takes to make just one collar is represented by my shaded drawing here. So the first thing we need to think about is what is this fraction? So I can see that I have two out of three shaded, and this is two thirds of a yard of fabric. And if, if you happen to know someone who sews or you know you've dealt with buying fabric before, you usually buy it by the yard. Okay. So I have two thirds of a yard that I need for one collar. So now I need to make seven collars. I can think of this as really I need, if this is just one collar, then I really need seven copies of this, right? And remember, we're thinking copies of, we're thinking multiplication. So I can think of this as two thirds times seven or seven over one, right? When I multiply fractions, I can just multiply straight across. So I get, 14 thirds. Now you'll notice that this question actually asks you to enter the uh, answer in as a mixed number. So let's think about how we can get 14 thirds back to a mixed number. Now you might be thinking divide, but you can't really remember how do you figure out that leftover piece. Let me show you another way to do it that I think makes more conceptual sense. Because I'm dealing in thirds, I know that three thirds is a whole. So let me start subtracting out three thirds to see what I'm left with. So I'm gonna start with 14 thirds, and I'm gonna first take out 3 thirds. I know that that is one whole. Okay, now I get 11 thirds. I know I can take out another 3 thirds. Again, that's another whole. I get 8 thirds. Again, I can take out another 3 thirds. You see where this is going. There's another whole. I've now got five thirds. I can still take out one more whole, and I'm left with two thirds. Now, circle all of your holes and let's add them up. So I have four holes and two thirds, or four and two thirds yards of fabric is how much I'm going to need to make my seven collars. I hope you found this video helpful.